I want to go over a clinical pearl or a tip that I use that's really helpful or beneficial with the clarius in the clinic one analyzing climbers fingers and in particular uh, climbers with pulley sprains. So I'm going to go through the four image capture comparing and contrasting the longitudinal as well as the transverse view and then using the measurement tool to be able to quantify in the case with a climber with a pulley sprain it would be bone tendon distance in the case with James, who doesn't have a pulley sprain, we'll just quantify the length or the, the depth of his uh, tendons. But I'm gonna go through this process in a very clean way. And it's a great way to show patients side-by-side -side comparisons with their hands. So James, go ahead, take your right hand and put it right down here. And I'll put on a copious amount of ultrasound gel here to scan your finger. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the scanner and go through a longitudinal view. And as I come in here and we take a look at the screen, as I place the transducer down and I can visualize the MCP, I can scan along so I can see the phalanx as well as the flexor tendons, I now wanna go into this four mode version where I can get a compare contrast. So on the climber themselves, I now have a freeze frame, I'll go ahead and freeze frame that image as you can see there, number one, top left of the screen. I'll get a transverse image of their finger and I will capture that transverse image. Once I capture the transverse image, I'll then go to their opposite hand. I'll place a copious amount of ultrasound gel on the opposite finger. I'll place a transducer over the region of their finger and I'm looking and analyzing, comparing and contrasting, and trying to get that same view on the opposite side. Once I have that ideal view, I'll screenshot, and then I'll go into the transverse view and really get this compare and contrast to the opposite side. And once I'm there, I take the screenshot and the image. Now that we have these four split screen freeze framed images, we want to go in and compare and contrast and show the climber what's going on with one hand in the longitudinal and transverse compared to the other hand and see if there's any changes or any differences in their bone tendon distance. So let's take a look at the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image on the top left. I'll then select the distance parameter and I'm going to measure the thickness measuring from point A, which I'll select on the bone, to the top of the tendon, flexor digitorum superficialis. And this will be measuring the bone tendon distance. That's in the longitudinal view on the right side middle finger. And then I'll compare that to the transverse view on the right side middle finger. I'll select again the image on the screen. I will then go and select the distance tool. And I'll measure that distance from the bone to the top of flexor digitorum superficialis. And if I need to adjust, I can click and adjust, for example, here, distance one, to make sure I have the best parameter. Now I can compare and contrast that now to the left middle finger, again, selecting the distance, selecting the bone, and then measuring the top of flexor digitorum superficialis. And the final component is I can select the fourth image, I can select that distance and I can measure as needed. I can make any fine tune adjustments if I need to. I can also zoom in and zoom out if I need to make any fine tune adjustments to any of the different images on the screen so that I know that I'm getting the exact distance that I need and I can target it and I can compare and contrast you can see the millimeters of distance on the top left of each image. So I can see exactly any type of bow stringing, but in this case, just the width of the tendon itself. This is where it's nice to make any fine tuned micro adjustments. You can see that we want to make sure that all these angles are directly up and down. So I can fine tune those adjustments when it's zoomed in. I can get that exact measurement and this is really helpful with the patients. So this is a game changer with patients. I can show them on one side, comparing and contrasting to the other, and they can really see that difference. If they have an A2 pulley sprain, for example, they'll see that bowing, they can see that increased bone tendon distance, we can take the screenshots, track those, 
And then as they come up for subsequent follow-up sessions, we can compare, contrast, and watch their progress over time. 